The humble cornice is often an overlooked part of your home decor. So here, we show you how to transform a room through the quick and easy addition of a cornice, and then offer some cornice paint techniques to help create the illusion of extra space. To install a cornice, begin by preparing the cornice with an undercoat of paint and ensuring your wall is painted in the final chosen colour and is ready for the cornice installation. Cut the cornice to size, using a meter box to get an angle cut for the joins in the corners of the walls. Measure out the location of the cornices on the walls using a chalk line. Then apply the cornice adhesive and affix the cornice into place. If there are gaps between the wall and the cornice, do not force the cornice to sit flat, but instead fill the gaps with the additional glue. Remove any excess glue with a scraper and then clean the area with a wet sponge. Installation of the quick cornice in an average size room will take you no more than a day and can completely transform the look and feel of the room. But for an even greater effect, do a paint technique on the cornice before you install it to add even more drama and height to your room. If you would like to take the cornice a little bit further, um, I'm going to shade it using uh, the paint wall colour and scumble glaze. And this will have the effect of taking the colour from the wall up rather than taking the white of the ceiling down onto the wall, thereby actually lifting and giving you more height in your room. Uh, I've got cashmere. Uh, this colour is called Safari Tan and it's the colour that we used on the walls in the room. I'm going to mix it one part Safari Tan with one part acrylic scumble glaze, that's GSL2 by Plascon, and one part water, which is already in the container. Mix it together. The scumble glaze stops the paint drying, it inhibits the drying time so it gives you that little bit longer to work it. Otherwise I'm going to put it onto the cornice, it's going to dry straight away and look terrible. Um, the idea is that we put uh, the paint into the grooves of the cornice. We're then going to, I'm going to show you a technique called stippling and then we wipe off so that we get a shaded effect. Okay, so I've got my mixture of saf safari tan uh, cashmere here and scumble glaze. I'm just going to take an ordinary brush and I'm going to apply that to the surface. Now ideally you need to work in pairs for this because this paint must not be allowed to dry. Um, you must keep moving the wet paint forward and somebody is going to come behind doing the stippling effect. You can see it's a very subtle effect. Now I'm going to take a dry large brush, preferably with natural hair bristle, and I'm going to stipple. We call this stippling. If you look closer you can see a sort of suede it almost looks like a spray effect and I'm going to leave a wet edge. I'm not going to stipple right up to the wet edge so when I do the next piece I can move that wet paint along like that. Then I'm just taking an old rag, wrapping it around my finger and I'm going to wipe off the highlights because the purpose of this is to bring out um, the detail on your cornice. You see that lovely sort of shaded effect there. Once the paint is dry, install the cornice onto the wall as previously instructed and admire the transformation achieved in a day with Rhinolite Quick Cornice and Plascon Paint.